Good morning. My name is Anita Rothard, and I am an employee of the Guidance Center Mental Health Agency in the Down River area. I also work in the prevention program. Last week, we introduced you to a series called Cooking Up a Story. I hope you enjoyed the first book and the recipes that follow. This week, I'm introducing you to a new book. It's called Share, Big Bear Share. It was written by Maureen Wright. The illustrations were done by Will Hillenbrandt. It was copywritten in 2017 and it was published by Scholastic Publishing Company. Look at our two friends here, along with Big Bear. I wonder what they're thinking and I wonder what this big thing is right here. Let's go on an adventure and open the book and find out. Are you ready? Let's go. Share, Big Bear, share. I wonder where he's scurrying off to. See him right there? Let's begin. Big Bear smiled and rubbed his tummy. The bear berries he picked were very yummy. He lounged by a tree and laughed with glee. Oh, these berries, he said, oh, are just for me. Birds and squirrels and two little mice thought the berries looked very nice. But Bear just sighed, oh, with dreamy grin hugged his pail and dug right in. Branches shook on the old oak tree. A deep voice said, listen to me. Share, big bear, share. Somehow bear misunderstood. He didn't pay attention like a good bear should. He thought, he thought the tree said in a deep green woods, hair, big bear hair. My hair said bear, are you sure? All right, I guess I'll comb my fur. He slicked his fur back nice and neat, then picked a berry and started to eat. His friend little rabbit and a curious deer Mmm, smelt the berries and tiptoed near. Branches shook on the old oak tree. The deep voice said, listen to me. Share, big bear, share. Somehow, bear misunderstood. He didn't pay attention like a good bear should. He thought tree said in the deep green woods, lair, big bear lair. Oh my. Lair means home, said bear. It's true, so I'll go home like he told me to. He lumbered nearby to his cozy den peeked in the window at the door and then scampered back to the old oak tree and gobbled berries merrily. Branches shook on the old oak tree. A deep voice said, listen to me, share big bear, share. Oh my. Somehow, Bear misunderstood. He didn't pay attention like a good bear should. He thought Tree said in the deep green woods, chair, big bear chair. He found a stump and rolled it over, swerving around the bee filled with clover. 
He plopped his rump on the smooth trip tree trunk and popped in a berry, mmm, so juicy and plump. Branches shook on the old oak tree. A deep voice said, listen to me, share, big bear, share. Oh my, somehow bear misunderstood. He didn't pay attention like a good bear should. He thought tree said in the deep green woods, scare, big bear scare. Big bear knew just what to do. He jumped in the air and yelled out, boom. Then bear sat down and said, yummy, yummy. Eating bears is lots of fun. Does that look scary to you? The old oak tree yelled, be nice and share. Don't you know that's only fair? You like it when friends share with you. It's the thoughtful thing to do. Share, big bear, share. Well, said Bear, you could have told me before. He turned to his friends on the forest floor. Forgive me, please, he nicely said. I'm all mixed up inside my head. He must have had a lot of things to think about, huh? How could I forget to share? Come everyone, there's lots of berries to spare. His friends said, thank you. These are sweet. They're glad you shared your summertime treat. Boy, there's lots of berries to share, huh? I wonder how his friends feel. I like to share Big Burr's side. It makes me happy deep inside. They gobbled berries and giggled with gleam beneath the shadow of the old oak tree. Looks like everybody's pretty happy, huh? The end. Isn't it nice to share with friends? Absolutely. Sharing is the best thing you can do. I hope you enjoy the recipe that follows the story. Thank you and have a wonderful day.